Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Miriam Dow, wife, a mama for real estate investor and entrepreneur. My last video got a lot of traction, a lot of engagement in the comment section. Not actually my last video. The video I did about leaving America, I'm gonna put the link right here. So thank you so much for showing love. It's crazy how many of us are thinking the same thoughts, um, but people feel like they're really stuck. They don't really know what to do. My game plan is I need to have a plan, especially as a mom of four, um, we need to have a plan. I need to make sure income is still coming in no matter where I decide to or not go, okay? So with that being said, I told you that I'm very interested in um, investing out of the country. Now, Dubai is a place, my very, very first time, I don't even really know the year. I believe it was either 2008 or 2009 was the first time I went to Dubai, um, obsessed. I've probably been there over a dozen times, maybe about 20 times, and I love it. There's a certain kind of calmness that goes over my body when I'm in Dubai. When I tell you I'd be in the mall at 2 a.m., mall doesn't close early, and the jet lag is usually like a nine hour difference. So the jet lag always kills me, so I am i don't go to bed until like 6, 7 a.m. their time. Um, so I just be living my best life. I love my solo trips to Dubai and um i feel very safe you know you can make as much money as you want but if you don't have security if you don't have that sense of security there's certain things that money just can't buy like you can't put a price on security as i'm filming this video um there was two stabbings over this past weekend one in new york um with a 19 year old girl and she actually passed away rest in peace to her um, I don't really want to get into that, but it just kind of solidifies those thoughts that I have. There's no security in this country. And I know every country has its caveats. You're probably going to go to another country that has something that the U.S. doesn't, but then you're going to miss out on things that the U.S. does have that you're used to, um, you know, these luxuries and stuff like that that you probably don't have over there. But honestly, I feel like it's all conception. It's all uh, it's all your mindset. And no one is saying move out of, move out of the country Permanently, you could literally take a sabbatical, take a one year sabbatical, take a six month sabbatical. But the thing is, you need to have things in place, especially if you're parents, before you could do anything like this. So I have some ideas, but I wanted to talk to you about these, these investments that I was looking at in Dubai, because um, honestly, that's a place where I will have a second home for sure, because I'm in the Middle East. There's no Islamophobia. You could dress as modestly as you want. There's no weed where you have, you know, you have to be mindful of your kids starting to smoke weed and all this stuff at such a young age because of the exposure, because it's legal here in the U.S. I see teenagers smoking weed in the park. It's absolutely insane. Um, one of the police officers was um his son was on the same football team as my son a few years back and there was kids in the park smoking weed and he was saying yeah like th there's nothing that we could do we literally can't do anything about that so that's just insane to me i remember when i was in high school it was illegal what is going on what this country is coming to but i'm not one to just stick around so let's look at these investments out of the country i'm also going to be sharing other investments that i'm looking at um and as i come across these investments that i may or may not be investing in i'm definitely going to share with you so i reached out to a broker um and told her like what my budget was so i was looking at properties in between the three hundred thousand dollar to six hundred thousand dollar range now what i really really love about dubai is because you can actually own your property. When I say own, own it outright within seven years. Here in the here in the U.S., we have normalized these thirty year mortgages, and within thirty years, you probably went ahead and did another cash out refinance. Rewinding the clock back to the thirty years again. How many times have you done that? So within thirty years, you really don't even own your property, and if you actually do own it within thirty years, you probably paid double for that property. What I'm looking at is off plan property. Off plan property is a property that is actually isn't physically ready yet. It's probably gonna have a projection ready date for two years, three years. You have to be mindful of the companies that you work with because a lot of these companies out there, um, they run into issues where the project doesn't get finished and you already paid your down payment and stuff like that. So I'm working only with companies that have experience working in Dubai and they are very credited and stuff like that, like insurance on your money. It goes through you know, the Dubai government system and all that. So I was looking at two different projects that fit the threshold of my budget. Um, so basically, like I was saying with Dubai, you pay a down payment and then each month you're paying a certain amount um, for like two years. So let's say the project date, we're in 2024, the project date is in two years, you're paying a certain amount monthly. By the time you get to 
um, where the keys is ready for you to actually get attain the property and you can actually walk in the physical property and live there or turn it into a rental, you've already paid 50%. So now when the remaining 50% is due, you can actually get a mortgage. Within that time frame. you own that property in seven years. So the same 30 years where you own one property in the US, you done bought potentially four properties and you own them outright in the UAE. So that is something that we should definitely think about. I feel like sometimes you're closed-minded when you're not exposed to certain things. Like I don't know anyone in my family that owns property in Dubai, but that is not gonna stop me. I didn't know anyone that owned property in the US. I have tons of family members that own uh, property back home, but yeah, I just think differently and that's okay. I'll be the unicorn of my family, of my little clique, but yeah, this is what we're doing. The project I was looking at, it's by Mag Developers. And you could do your own research as well, but it's by Mag Developers. The property I was looking at was um, $325,000. You put 1% down. I'll put the pamphlet up that the broker sent me as well. So you put a 24% down payment. That was for the one bedroom. Now for the two bedroom, which I think would be like a little bit more popular if I wanted to Airbnb it, um, that would be $440,000. Now, I really, really loved, this property actually came furnished, so the furniture is included. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive and it was due to be ready 2026. Now, what I really, really love is the location of this property. Uh, already, now we have the IMG World. It's very close to Global Village. IMG World. In so front the Global, you, Global Village is on, the, on this yes, side? Yes, yes. In front, you have Majan area and you have Albarari. Al you have very easy access to, to the highway and you can reach downtown approximately like in 15 minutes. Okay, so location wise is good. And the, the second point, I think that you're given the fully furnished, completely apart with all the curtains, carpets, exactly everything, absolutely. Yeah, and with good size. And one more, like uh, the most important selling point for this project, we have like very nice payment plan with post handover payment plan. So it looks like we have here like a motto of this project to rent to own. Every resident in Dubai can have its own property uh, with this payment plan. You pay 50% during construction, and for another 50%, we give you post-handover payment plan for 50 months. Nice. So, uh, Global Village, I actually went there once, close to IMG theme park, City of Arabia, Dubai land. So the two bedrooms are going for $440,000, and the one bedroom is going for $325,000. So you would pay 24% of that for the down payment. So starting June 1st, this is when you start the payment plan. So you'll pay 1% each month. So let's say I went with the one bedroom that's going for $325,000. I put the 24% down for $325,000. Then each month starting June 1st of 2024, until they turn the key over, I'm paying 1% and that is $3,250 a month each month. So these, this is something that you have to have the funds for because if you're living in the US, you already got your mortgage or your rent that you're paying here. So you have to have the funds to pay this and not default and stuff like that. Um, and the, every developer works a little bit differently. So the broker was explaining to me that the, this developer is a little bit more lenient because sometimes people want higher down payments to make sure that you're serious. The idea is that you've already paid 50% of the $325,000. The idea is you just go to the bank and get a mortgage for the $162,000. But at this point, if you're going to be moving there, you're going to be paying out of pocket. But in my case, I would love to turn it into Airbnb. So at this point, um, you could Airbnb it and now those tenants will be paying that money. So the 50% initially just comes out of pocket and the remaining 50%, if you're going to put a tenant in that location, they will pay for it. Now, what I like about Dubai is if you want to go the long-term rental route, your tenants actually pay per year. So it's either like six year, per, six month or a yearly, but they're not paying month to month like how we're used to in the US. And I really, really like that gives me landlord friendly vibes so they can actually negotiate the rate down so if you have someone that's paying the whole year up front um say someone's moving into my house you know next month and they're paying for the whole year they get a better rate whereas if someone who's trying to pay like six months you get what i'm saying but i really really love that because that is not common here in the u.s and then typically these properties that you're giving them is furnished so some of them come unfurnished some of them come furnished um, but what I really like as well is a lot of these developers, they have like the customer service um, in the building, the out of country investors that are buying this strictly for like the Airbnbs, right? The people on the ground that's already here willing to manage the Airbnbs for you.
for you. They give you full access to your account. So I did a little bit of research on that, but I really, really love that because it's kind of like your hands off, but you see exactly what's going on. It's not like they have access to your account. You see exactly what's going on. The money I believe is getting deposited into your account and then you just pay them their fee, I guess on a monthly basis. So I really, I'm digging that, okay? I want to be around the country and I have to deal with what's going on. And being that this is going to be a brand new property, you're not going to really have the kind of guests that I'm typically dealing with you know with things breaking down and stuff like that or people not liking the location and then they take care of you know cleaning it they have the housekeepers on site so y'all i really really love this when i asked from the broker that she didn't really respond i didn't really like that um but i asked her like what can i get for rent come from a one bedroom at the mag developer site and what can i get for rent for a two bedroom if i wanted to go like let's say long term and also if i wanted to go like airbnb so she didn't give me those numbers say if you buy in the a studio for uh, 600 was that 640 standard. 640 so 320 you need to pay during three years 320,000 with the down payment of 10 percent which is around 60 plus registrations around 80 90,000 then uh, by handover you pay only 320 and then you do the you receive the key you can move in or you can rent it out and then you pay monthly around uh, six thousand seven thousand a month so if you yeah. it's already fully furnished so if you invest from investment point of view if you rent it out more or less, I think you can expect uh, maybe five, six thousand for the studio. So uh, yeah. it will be covering your uh, installments to developer. Yeah, even now, for example, I found one building in Majan. Uh, the price for studio is approximately 35,000 of dirhams. It's without furniture, without equipment, and it's like not brand new. Yeah, and this is annual contract. But if yeah. we rent it monthly, because yeah. we have already fully furnished apartment, we rent it monthly, yeah. I believe easily like you can get five thousand a month you can yeah. rent. Because you most of the now, most of the communities, any studio, small studio, 350 square feet, the rent is around uh, 5,000 a month. Yeah, and here, like uh, short-term rent, it will good, it will work here very good too, because you have Global Village, you have IMG World, you have Dubai Autodrome. Yes. So we understand that people from another Emirates they will come here for this kind of entertainment, and they would like to stay like next to these areas. Yes, and uh, also I think there are not many hotels in that area we have. Yep, true. Next, are about Emar. So if you've been to Dubai, you know every other building that you walk past has E M A A R all over, like. Uh, are the developers of the developers okay they are kind of like the ogs they own a lot of real estate they've done a lot of development she told me is that their down payment is a little bit more aggressive their down payments are usually like 80 percent beforehand and then the, so the 20 percent is what you can actually put a mortgage on instead of the 50 50 from the mac developers so i asked her about the mac um, and she told me that Demac has horrible quality because Demac is another one that I usually see a lot when I'm in Dubai. So that's her opinion on that. Um, and then the second opportunity she provided me with is a property by City Developers. Now, City Developers is actually new in Dubai from what I've heard, but they are um, well known like in India and in different countries. But this, I believe this is their first project in Dubai. They have a beautiful showroom that I plan on visiting. Um, but so far we're hearing some good things about them. So this project that she was talking about is gonna be in JVC. I believe it's Jumariah Village. This project is due to be done in 2027. And again, it's 1% per month until it's 100% complete. And then you have that 50% mortgage that you have to come up with. Now the pricing for this is a little bit better than the previous one, but remember Mag Developers, that property, that one bedroom was going for 3,000, $325,000 but it's furnished. Now the one bedroom for J for the city developers is going for $275,000 but it's not furnished. Um, and again 24% down payment and then when you then you do another 10% down payment 30 days after you put the initial down payment so all together you're putting like 34 that 34% down. Now, if you're interested in a two bedroom, the two bedroom is going for $360,000 and that's like $86,000 down is what you would have to come up with. But this is their first development in Dubai. There's only 20 units left when I spoke to this developer, so it's probably way less now. Then like, if you're interested in this property, she told me that there was a $5,000 booking fee. So they basically reserve the unit for you. It's kind of like your earnest money deposit and you have like a grace period for that um and i was this property i really fell in love with but then a question i had was like a lot of these out of the country investors um they buy the properties and they you know make it airbnb so it's like i'm gonna have all this competition with other you know airbnb owners that are looking to do that so that was a question that i had for her um and then the good thing is that it's not furnished ideally if it's not furnished you can kind of furnish it yourself or maybe switch a few things up maybe 
switch a marble countertop just to give your unit a nice edge and then a big another big thing is the view that your unit has as well like if you have a water view a city view that's definitely better than if you just have like another view of the desert or a building so that also of course those are going to probably cost a little bit more money but the amenities this building had was crazy like there was a lot of boutiques in the building there's like a mall nearby not not too far away that she was telling me about it's called Aveline Residences um so I'm gonna put up the video she showed me page you can definitely go take take a look at that as well then I, I did see that recently dubai has a seven percent corporate tax but that has nothing to do with us investors who are looking to buy in dubai for us it's still a zero percent personal tax so all the income you make is definitely yours and if you buy property in dubai you can actually get residency through the property but yeah it's, it seems like a lot of money up front um but what i really like about it is that you own the property in seven years there's no you know right to use property and like dubai honestly is the future it's a melting pot when i go there it's not like one race over the other it's literally all types of races in dubai um weather is great of course a lot of businesses are moving there have moved there already because of you know the tax benefits of course like you want to make your money and actually keep it you're not trying to make your money and give it to the government okay tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below would you ever consider moving to dubai investing in dubai um i know it's a lot of money when it comes to when you compare it to the us and you're like oh i could just buy a property with three percent down and have 30 years to pay it but then you're not actually buying that property if you buy that property for five hundred thousand dollars that property is going to cost you maybe double by the time 30 years comes around okay whereas you can have these other properties and in a country that's still developing it. They say you want to have currency and different currencies. Checkmate. You're not just trying to make U.S. dollars. So you would have Durham income coming in. You would have U.S. income coming in from your, your, uh, you know, your U.S. investments. I would never get rid of all of my U.S. investments. But I would definitely probably sell or flip a property to go invest in another country. So that's something that I'm thinking about. Tell me what you guys think about these properties. One thing that I wanted to mention. A lot of people buy these into these properties with no intention to actually live in the property or rent the property out. So let's say you go ahead and you put the down payment down of the 24%, you've been paying your 1%. When the property is off plan, that's the least expensive that it's ever gonna be. As you get closer to that date that it's actually gonna be complete, it starts to go up in value, up in value, up in value. So some people flip the house before they even get the keys. So let's say I invest into this property in 2024 and it's not due to be done until 2027. By the time 2026 rolls around and let's say we're a year out and people are starting to see the building actually up in the air, uh, up in the air and they start to see what the skyscraper is looking like and they starting to see some amenities come to life. Like they have this infinity pool it's beautiful um and they just start to see that people start to water at the mouth and then families that are moving into dubai that have the money they're not trying to go rent anywhere they just want the property brand new they willing to pay any amount of money for it so that's also an opportunity where you can literally flip the property you pay the 24 percent. you go ahead and you you know pay that one percent every month and let's say completion comes around you get the key now this property that you bought for this one bedroom that you bought for two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars 
three years ago is probably worth double. Now, I don't know what the numbers are, don't quote me, but it's definitely gonna be worth more than what you paid for it. And then you have someone willing to come pay cash to take this property off of your hands. And the only thing is that you were patient and all that money that you've invested over those two, three years is now back in your pop pocket and you could take that money and go invest it again. So it's kind of like flipping off um, off plan properties. That's actually a thing in Dubai. Um, but again, you just have to be careful with who you're doing this with because certain developers, some things happen and they just can't finish the project for whatever reason. So I would only work with a developer that's like accredited. I just wanted to bring that up. That's also another way that you can actually get into these properties. So I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.